Sunday, December 19th, 2021. It's around 5.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, there is a football game on my children put on. It's Green Bay Packers and the Ravens. Um, and there's a man that, um, something to do with his foot. Uh, he exposed his foot for some reason. My son Alexander James, he said, that's Aaron Rodgers. Don't you know who Aaron Rodgers is? And I was like, nope. And I looked at him. I go, oh my God, he's a foot guy. He goes, foot guy. I go, yeah, he exposed his foot on one of the entertainment tonight shows. They were saying something was wrong with his foot, I think. I, I really don't, I don't know what the story was. I just remember seeing the bottom of his foot. And so my son was like, how do you even know that? And I was like, I, again, it's one of those weird neural network link-ups. It was something universally that came into my like consciousness. I, I For some reason, it was one of those God spots. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so anyway, so um, that happened. So I'm speaking to my kids, and my oldest son, Ben, um, he went to the community college for something called criminal justice. And I'm like, all right, so you studied criminality, pretty much, because, I mean, he didn't go to law school, but he went to understand the United States of North America, what the executive administration has done in some form of law and judicial system format. And I'm like, so here's my scenario. And I go and I lay out where I'm confused and asking his opinion as next generation how I should read the situation just to get a head and conscious read of the flash forwards being whatever I'm experiencing and scary mom's a little more awake than the rest. Um... And my ch and I'm like, okay, so and my children are like, they're just not getting it. And I'm like, but Ben, here's the thing. I was like, you already admitted that you see the television view has changed from what it was when I was a kid and even when you were younger until now it seems everything is geared towards what we are not, but they're teleporting into our television and telling us their vision. So, but I don't see where you get a voice. Where's your voice to be able to speak back and say, hey, it's not all right that you've taken over and it's this much change. Um, and my kid, my mom is like, is, is for some re reason, out of her mouth, her antenna is connected to some paid-for brainwave technology saying that the people on the television are totally okay. And I'm like, uh, no, it's not. And I want my kids to decide for themselves. And I'm trying to lay out the facts as I've seen them and as I've seen them change. And my children are almost speechless like they are like well I don't I don't see where the pro like the all the sports and the whatever and I was like right you yeah, know got that I was like but there's a real problem here love and then I'm thinking to myself I'm like so give me those kiddos I was like uh we have the founding fathers that built the framework and the original network to this great country that we live in called United States of America and then <laughs> there's the executive and administration kids who, kiddos, <laughs> who have done some stuff. I wasn't advised on, and they might have made some decisions that may have compromised my personal freedom that the founders wanted me to have um, as a safety security network. 
uh, for my biological safety and for the ability to have children and for them to inherit some safety. Um, so I was like, so how does that work in your study of the criminality in America? He said, well, no, I study criminal justice. <laughs> right. Okay. Because for me, it's justification of the criminal network that has embedded itself is what criminal justice is when you go to a community college and you study it. So you have inside information on just how the defense of the criminals. What I need is personal freedoms <laughs> and the original founders of the United States of North America and how they put together our network for just this kind of occasion that might arise <laughs> at some point. So I don't know what the words are the humans use because my little humans that I created in my goddess bodice cavity into an Adonis format where they then have their own clone copy of a bodice. Um, and so now we are separate, not equal, because I'm still mom and I've got some responsibility responsibility, but I have children that may have been malformed in the sense of consciousness because they've been taught by the criminal enterprise um, in order to protect the criminal enterprise and in order to maintain the criminal enterprise organization. <laughs> However, Mom believes in uh, the Founding Fathers had a good start, a good head start. And I really need to consult with a couple of them before I make any final determinations on stuff. I don't know where I lost that part of the tribe. Just, it gets confusing being tossed in nothing, or nothingness for so long and everything growing so erratically obvious around me and not knowing where's my stazito. <laughs> I talked to a Greek woman the other day. She said that there's something in their Bible. Uh, she's like, you know, in the Bible, how the gods and the archangel Michael. And I'm like, no, no, I don't. Nobody ever told me that story. I was like, the gods, like, you went to Greek God. I was like, I was not allowed, I didn't know how to find you guys. I was like, I was taken to some Episcopalian, like, picked apart, like, all the meat was off the bones, and it was not preparedness for such invasion of everything unnatural. Um, so, right, I mean, like, there's psychology, which is very human. <laughs> and then there's parapsychology. I would be more parapsychology because I don't know what happened over the last 43 years while I was trying to keep four kiddos safe from the world and how the world fistulated itself and caused a intestinal problem inside the body cavity. Just saying. It wasn't part of it, but I was somehow caught up in a quantum entanglement of one me. So I need to figure out how to get to, like, I'd say a nickel. Like, I'm the femme Nikita, but I just need, like, Nikki. <laughs> Needs help, Nicole. Right. Yeah, one of those. And this is the where my feet are at the moment. In Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. The kiddos came to visit from the ocean side. I'm on the bay side of the same island. Uh, Nicole Ketter is a star 1978, star 8378. And it is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. 